Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going to talk about the newly released Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Let's get started. To keep things nice and simple, I decided to put everything into a couple charts here. Uh, first and foremost, this top chart here shows the Raspberry Pi 3B versus the newly announced Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. The Raspberry Pi 3B is the one that is currently on the market and has been on the market for a while. The Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is the newly announced Raspberry Pi that was available as of yesterday. The first upgrade is with the CPU. It was running at 1.2 GHz and now on the newly released 3B Plus, it is running at 1.4 GHz, which is a gain of 0.2 GHz. The next upgrade is the Wi-Fi. They added 5G capability. They also upgraded the Bluetooth. It was 4.1, now it is the newer 4.2. The RAM stays the same at one gigabyte and the price stays the same at $35. It's also important to note that the GPU remains unchanged. A few bonus features on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Uh, it's reportedly better thermal management, faster ethernet. It's a gigabit ethernet over USB 2.0. Uh, power over Ethernet support, but there is a separate attachment that you will have to purchase to make that work. And lastly, improved PXE network and USB mass storage booting. So what does this all mean? As a Kodi user, if you are using Wi-Fi and streaming, you may see a big improvement. This will completely depend on a variety of factors from router to network setup. But in theory, if you have 5G network at home, this will connect to it and run a little faster than the 2.4G in ideal settings. In regards to RetroPie, uh, it's a little bit of an improvement in the CPU, but I wouldn't say enough that it's gonna make N64 games, for example, work smoothly. Uh, that is, I could argue that is more on the emulator side of things as opposed to the computing power of the Raspberry Pi. However, it's roughly a 15% give or take power bump, and that may improve things. However, if you are curious, I will be getting one of these in the mail either tomorrow or Monday, and then I'm gonna test it out right away and probably have a video up hopefully next week. If you're curious on where to get one, if you're in a rush, then you can always check out buyapie.ca, and that's a Canadian website, but I do believe they ship to America. Anyways, that's all I've got today. If you like my video, leave a like. If you didn't like my video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. If you have any questions, comments, let me know below in the comments section, and I'll do my best to reply to everybody. Anyways, thank you everyone, take care.